Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today we are trying something very new, something I've been wanting to do for a very long time. Now the Rennie being the only Can-Am we have right now, what we're gonna do is use it as a test subject, and what we're gonna be testing is, is how do the trail tires, the big balloon trail tires that we put on the side-by-side, how would they do on the four-wheeler, baby? Now, I actually have a lot of faith. I think it's probably going to be a little too floaty, but I have a lot of faith because these tires are light. I feel like it's going to pull like a train, and in the mud, it's just, I feel like it's going to do really good. Go ahead, go down in the comments, put what you guys think is going to happen in the comment section. Let's just take a quick appreciation to how good this thing looks. Holy cow, man. We'll actually be getting it tuned tomorrow, but for now, let's go ahead and throw on these wheels and tires and rip it. These things clear. Oh my god. We are moving up to 32s, people. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> right? I don't huge. know if they're going to clear. Even though these are 32s, I feel like they're just as light as the Christmas. If it rubs, it'll go. Oh shit, bro. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Whoa. Yo, this thing kind of ridiculous. Yo, that is sick. Whoa. Oh, and just like that, we have, oh my gosh, it's huge. <laughs> Bro, it's giant. Oh, oh dude. yeah. Do you think it's gonna rub when you hit a bump? Nah, you're good. Fine. Fine, <laughs> well, there's only one thing left. Let's throw on the GoPro and see how this thing reacts to the 32 inch trail tires. Oh it's gonna be good. Gosh. Seriously. Okay. <laughs> the cops are hot. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know what's going on, we just got stopped by the cops. Follow me, follow me. <laughs> This happened like four minutes ago, so it's still kind of fresh. We Before we went and put the bike in the swamp, we had to go get the thumbnail picture. Oh, I was about to say there's another <laughs> cop. And uh, yeah, the cop stopped us. Just a quick briefing of what happened before you seen this cop. We are going over there to uh, the parents' house to get the thumbnail, and I pop up into Willie, and Christian's holding on to the back. And I'm riding this wheelie, I'm riding this wheelie, and I set it down, I'm like, oh shit, there's a charger in front of us coming, and that's our a cop car, right? So I'm like, is that a cop? And so I said, I tell Christian, I said, hold on. So we jump over the ditch into my parents' yard. We park it and the car just keeps on going. I mean, it wasn't like, it wasn't close by no means. And then literally within split second, like 30 seconds later, here comes the sheriff. He goes, he sees us, slows down, goes, makes a U-turn, comes back. And this is what happened. Yeah. Do you mind if we, so my parents live here uh -huh. and I live right there and we just come yeah. back and forth? Uh, care? That's Look, you guys can do whatever you want. The main thing is when we start getting complaints, uh -huh. that's when I have to at least come here and yeah. say something to somebody. So, and you guys fit the description. So, <laughs> and six one ones right there. Basically, some some person said that you cut them off, and there's just a bunch of whatever. Yeah, oh, okay. I wasn't there. Never saw it. I'm just yeah. letting you know. Just okay. be careful, okay? Because. Uh -huh. They do call us. Okay. Well, we appreciate so, it. No, no problem. Yeah, yeah thank I, you. I, I got no problem with just going back and forth. Yeah, it's like 60 yards. Is that what you hats? Yeah, I dropped yeah, my hat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate hey, it. Thanks, Sam. I wonder if that was the same sheriff that circled the block or another one called the cops again. Uh, maybe another one. Dude. It could have been another one. We're hot, boy. Oh, well, ladies and gentlemen, let me yell over this loud freaking renegade. So, what happened really was the, the cop was cool. Most of the sheriffs around here, they're cool. You know, they, they don't care a whole lot. They understand people are gonna go 100 yards down the road on a four-wheeler. That's just what happens in our area. It's the state troopers that we really gotta watch out for and that really are, really in a polite way, they're cocks, okay? But the sheriffs are always really cool and really nice and honestly, a lot of them will sit there and talk to you for 30 minutes just because they're, you know, looking for someone to talk to. Thankfully, it was an awesome cop. In my experience, all the sheriffs that I've ever talked to that's come to, the, that has came to my house for some reason, they're always really cool and really polite. But I'm shocked that another sheriff came by. Let's, let's hope Christian makes it. Oh, is he gonna make it? Oh, we're safe! 
we're good touchdown baby but now to what we're supposed to be doing testing out these tires and i can already tell you these tires don't feel all that heavy and i think wheelie won't be too much of a problem let's see it Woo oh yeah <laughs> this renegade just wheelies these things like it's no problem <laughs> oh these are big tires though i feel on up here and i feel like it's very rolly bro i literally glued that box on they do not want to stay dude <laughs> oh yeah this thing willie's just fine baby <laughs> can we do a little power willie Does, even on these big 32s can we still power willie <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah it's got the juice ah! all right you gotta watch out with these small floorboards i literally just kicked the tire as it was spinning i think i'm just gonna head to the swamp bro i mean it, it's still that there's a ton of power the power steering still good like i don't see any issues like why you would not want to run 32 trail tires i feel like the only issue is in the mud that's what i'm curious about this thing's still got plenty of power oh my gosh let's see if we scrub oh Oh yeah, your brakes still lock up the tires. Yeah, this thing's completely good to run 32s, boys. This thing, I think, is gonna be a great trail machine on these 32s. But the question is, is in the water, does it float too much? Is it not good for mud because it floats too much? And I feel like that could be a thing where I go in here and I roll this thing over and we sink it before Busco, which would be terrible. This bike's running hot. We haven't got it tuned yet. Let's so yeah, let's just let's just hope we don't sink it. We're just gonna go ahead, throw her in the swamp, and see how she does. We'll go ahead, cool this motor down a little bit. It's floaty. I can already tell you that. Oh my, it's so floaty. Four wheel drive engaged. It's floating. It's floating bad. <laughs> Motor starting to cool down. We're at 194 and falling 180. All right, we're good to rock and roll. Like I said, this thing's getting tuned tomorrow, so it'll be a totally different animal. Ah! Oh, it's climbing right out. These tires are doing just fine, man. Let's see if we can climb up this steep wall. Nope, not cutting it. Oh, there it goes. Yes, sir. Uh, that is what I'm talking about. I didn't even realize it, but I was doing that in high. Because these tires don't have a whole lot of tread and they're not gonna bite as much mud, it's less wear and tear on your belt because it's not so much for it to pull. It's not getting that traction to really uh, to really put some stress on it. It's very floaty, but I wanna say it's not, it's not uncontrollable. It feels a lot like the Honda. Let's just step off real quick. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's floating 100 <laughs> percent who says you can't float a can-am look i'll pull i'll push it forward the exhaust ain't even under it's a boat baby like seriously it's just floating dude hey it's actually surprisingly stable even though it's floating this bad it's surprisingly stable like here just for example we're gonna do a whole 360 with the four-wheeler there's the ascent bring it around town bring it around town Bro, if it cut off right now, you can just start it. The exhaust is literally not going under. It's You said it's five inches out of the water? Holy cow. All right, we're gonna go ahead and hop back up on this thing if we can. I literally climbed back up onto it. No problem. Climb back up this wall again. Yeah, no problem. Bro, this is great. Now I want to take this thing through the pond. Actually, you know what? I would take this thing through the pond. As stable as it is. <laughs> Bro, it, look, look how it's not the tires are staying above the water. If this thing didn't float, it'd be over the rack. Like seriously. Who said you couldn't float a Can-Am? <laughs> Wow, I'm so glad I did this, bro. Woo! <laughs> Dude, 
I am so glad I did this. I've never seen someone float a Can-Am. I like, that's something I've never seen someone do is float a Can-Am. And these things float like it's nothing. They're at 10 PSI. They're, these tires are at 10 PSI and it's floating like that. That is crazy, bro. You got on it, the exhaust was still out of the water. <laughs> So the exhaust, yeah, I guess you're right. The exhaust wasn't underwater even when I was sitting on it. Until you gave it gas and you leaned back. Yeah, until I tried to make it go down. Dude, that's crazy. It would so skim the pond like this, 100%. Do you realize this like opens up the door to like some crazy holes because you can float like over the waiter holes. But I think even in like uh, thick mud, I feel like this would this tire setup would still do just fine. Oh, yeah. And these same tires, these are wore down from the X3 and you know burnouts, legal burnouts. The thing is, if you go too much PSI and it sits too high up on the water, it gets less unstable. Uh, but this, these tires, they're sitting like right here, dude, with me on it and it's floating at 10 PSI. It's like the perfect, like it's, it's, it's dumb stable. That's awesome, bro. Woo! over rack deep exhaust is out of the water at rack deep up oh, it's kind of in it it's really nothing that crazy it's literally still more stable than the honda all right let's put some weight on the back see if we can't get it to touch the bottom oh and then it just climbs here's some thicker stuff right here we'll see what it does in this come on baby Choo -choo! <laughs> This is not a bad tire setup at all. See what it's like in reverse real quick. Look at how deep it actually is. Then we just let it float. Comes right back up. <laughs> Look at that AK working, dude. That advanced coating just putting in work. No mud sticking to it. Uh-oh. Ah! <laughs> Bro! I think this tire has less air in it. See how it wants to come to that side? See how deep it actually is. I can't get on it. See, we throw it in diff lock, see if we can climb this. Come on, baby. Now look at those holes we dug. Holy crap. Oh, yeah, it just eats. It just eats, baby. Plain and simple just eats. Ah! Oh, I love this setup. It's a lot of fun. I, I feel like I could do this at a mudding park. Like, I like the tire setup that much. <laughs> Bro, that was a success. 100%. Other than the bike trying to overheat, 100% a success. Definitely gonna have to get this thing to Cody's Hero tomorrow for tuning. This thing will be right, man. It'll be right. Well, I'm gonna go ride around and pop some wheelies, dude. Once it starts overheating again, I'll have to put it up. I'm gonna be watching the heat. Hopefully, it won't start overheating. I have a feeling it would. The radiator just got more clogged up if it was clogged to begin with. I think it has to do with the tuning. See if we can't pull that power wheelie, baby. <laughs> Oh my gosh, with these big tires, it feels like it's such a far back drop in a wheelie. <laughs> I want to go for a hand drag, but my butt's way too slippery. Oh boy. Quick little burnout sesh. You might want to come here for this one, buddy. <laughs> come on, I know you're excited. Let him eat. Let him eat. I definitely say I love these tires on the Rennie. So much fun. I don't want to wear them out just yet. So that's that's all the burnout y'all are getting. Oh, uh, I'm sure that thing's going to want to overheat on us. These Moto Ravage tires, boy, they can wear out. Like you put them on a 230 horsepower X3 or a 100 horsepower four wheeler, they'll wear out pretty quick, especially on the X3. I learned that the hard way, but that's my fault. 
no tire appreciates donuts or burnouts. But these are great for rock crawling. They're really a good all-around tire. So a good all-around tire is normally, it's a little softer than your average tire and uh, you know, you, you go through them a little faster, but uh, boy, I think this video has been a total success. We've got the cops involved. We floated a Can-Am, dude. Straight floated the Can-Am, front and rear. The Renegade performed absolutely amazing with these tires. We gotta get this thing washed up because it's going on the truck tonight because the first thing in the morning, I gotta leave, I gotta go get this thing tuned and I am excited about that. Holy cow, is this thing, is that gonna make this thing a rocket? It's all coming together for Mud Bash, baby. You guys stay tuned, hit that like button. You guys like, subscribe, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. two sheriffs outside mom's talking to him she called me i gotta go see what's going on you guys are going in the pocket how's it going what happened right yeah those are way old That's definitely like old. the only time we've kept touched the road is leaving from my house back over here. Yeah, somebody around here the yeah, other time he cranks up. Say, every time you crank him up, they don't fall. Yeah, no, we just put a loud exhaust on that fuller too, so that doesn't help. I bet that rubber's still warm. As long as you don't pump it, that's fine, but things don't go on the road. Yeah, they no, don't we're not. every freaking time. Yeah, we're not. And they're, they're raising hay. Really? Yeah, they're getting on us because we're uh -huh. not doing nothing about it, but as long as you don't pump it, we're Do you know who's calling? It's, it's different people every single time. Really? Yeah. Man, I'm gonna have to move again. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. Uh, well, y'all enjoy your yeah, night. Yeah, I'm good night. All right. Are you, are you done for tonight? Yeah, we're done. <laughs> okay. We're finished up. They call back down with another program. <laughs> Thank y'all. No problem. Wow. They said three after me. Oh man, Christian's walking over here. <laughs> Oh boy! He said, I'm not going on the pit bike down the road. It's another one! That green dude! I'm telling you, my sheriff's department got their shit together. They ain't messing around. Yo, bro, what do you think about that? Man, what have we gotten ourselves into, <laughs> bro? They're all coming for us. Bro, there's another one. As I, was, as I was walking out here, there's another one going by. Dude, I know, bro. Whenever I went back across, there was two that came by. <laughs> what they bro, say? Bro, I thought that was another one sitting right there. What'd they say to you? What they say to me? Did they talk to you? Now, if you didn't hear what they said, they said they had another neighbor call as soon as we did the burnout. See, right after I did the burnout, I seen that cop pass. He was sitting at the stop sign. Uh-huh. And he said they had a person call said I did a burnout. And uh, so he drove by looking, and then that's when we were packing everything up. That was the mm -hmm. end of the video, right? Well, then here three roll up, and uh, I'll come to the house. And so mom walks out there. I didn't even know she was out there. She apparently was already in the front yard. And I'm sitting here on my phone like, they're coming for me, boys. <laughs> and I walk out there after they tell her to get, they caught, told her where, asked where I was and had me come out there. Uh-huh. And uh, I was like, no, I did a burnout right there in our driveway. Yeah. You can go feel the rubber. It's probably still warm. Yeah. You told them that? <laughs> yeah, I was like, that was like two minutes ago, bro. <laughs> they can't do anything about that. No. It, it, like I said, they were super nice. Yeah. Obviously, they're trying to solve the problem for the uh, the neighbors that whoever's calling, you know, real, real, real cocks. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, sheriffs, man, they're pretty nice. If you do something illegal, sometimes you just got to take the L, but a lot of times the sheriffs, they're, they're super nice about it and everything. I'm telling you right now, our sheriff's department in this county, they got their shit unlocked because they're apparently... One sitting in the stop sign, one over here, and then one right around the corner dude, waiting for us to do something dumb. As soon as I went across the street to get these waiters to come yeah. watch, dude, I swear, I, in a matter of seconds, bro, there comes another one coming <laughs> this way. And I was like, all right, so this guy's sitting with binoculars, and that guy's waiting down the street. So they just got it on lock, dude. But yeah, guys, don't do the crime if you're not willing to pay the fine, all right? <laughs> we, after the first cop, it's always like, no, if you see a cop, they talk to you. Don't do nothing stupid, because they're still watching you. Yeah. But uh, it was kind of funny, because he said he was sitting at the stop sign, uh -huh. When we were doing the burnout, didn't hear it. No way. They said somebody called, and that's the only reason they found out about it. Who called? I don't know. They said that multiple people, multiple people called. I mean, the only person I can think is called the cops is this guy, but he's always been nice and hasn't cared. Yeah. Garrett's family won't call a cop. My grandma lives right there. Yeah. Like, this little circle is just like our group, the, like because, our, uh, our neighbor group. No one cares. Yeah. They know I got to do what I got to do. So I don't <laughs> know who's calling, bro. I still think it's that 
state trooper that lives across that big highway over there. Oh, yeah. I think it's him. Probably. Because for someone to call and say, I was doing a burnout, they had to be in seeing sight. Uh huh. That guy couldn't see it. If he could, he probably he could have seen it. That dude's kind of a cunt, too. <laughs> this guy's a real cunt. There's a guy two houses down. I don't even think he lives there, but he's a he's a douche. A douche. A douche. But that's it. Yeah. So that's and that's the only people I can see. I don't know. I don't know. Guys, if you want, hit the thumbs up button. Brain Price is getting arrested. Uh, yeah, like, subscribe. I'm gonna need all the likes I can get. Go down, like the video, and uh, subscribe. We'll see you.